Hello fellow survivors, today I'm going to briefly talk to you about how hot teas work. You see, if you heat up a tea or coffee and then drink it, you will gain the warming up bonus, which will keep you a little bit warmer. But a lot of people don't realize that when you drink a hot beverage, you also gain heat back. So if you go out in a blizzard and drink a hot tea, you'll actually keep hypothermia at bay because you're getting some of your warmth back. This can be done by heating everything that can be heated in advance on a campfire and then once it's all hot you leave out into the blizzard and once you start getting a bit cold you have a hot drink and then you gain the warmth back. And this will allow you to navigate long distances over time without getting too cold and taking too much damage. For example going across Fallen Muska could be handy or a Pleasant Valley. This doesn't just apply to teas, it applies to anything that can be heated up such as a canned food. So uh, today I'm going to show you a clip from my Interloper Made Easy video where I navigate a blizzard from the barn in Pleasant Valley all the way up to the cave uh, towards Mystery Lake in a blizzard and I get there by using different hot teas so I don't get cold and I don't take much damage. If you want to see the full video of this, uh, this it's from an entire walkthrough of how to play Interloper and I'll put the link of that in the description. Uh, I will also for this clip superimpose a minimap so you can actually see where I am in the world as I'm doing this, which was not in the original video. And in any case, I hope this is a good illustration of how you can use hot teas to your advantage and conquer that cold, whether it's just, you know, chilly outside or if you're in a blizzard. So I hope this helps. Enjoy the clip. Something, but it's not really worth it. How long does this take to refer? 30 minutes. I mean, I guess we could do it. It will get slightly more warm for doing it. Yeah, okay, we got that. Oh, it sounds like it's a blizzard outside. And uh, you know what? <clears throat> this is going to sound very strange. But it's actually a good thing that it's blizzard outside. Because then we can um, let's eat this right away we can travel while having all this smelly meat on us and not have to worry about wolves it's not great <laughs> so we're going to do that uh, if you are new to interloper don't do that because if you get lost, it's going to be very painful. But if you know where you're going, it's not a harm. The easiest way to do it is to just head out of this barn and find the road and then follow the roads. And when you find it turning to the right, you follow that and eventually you'll get to Signal Hill. We might not even need to go to Signal Hill because we have everything. So we might just head to Mystery Lake and head towards the forge right away. Uh, I might actually do that. Signal Hill has great loot, but we don't really need to go there. So uh, we might just head to Mystery Lake right now. It, it should be possible to do it. Let's grab all of these. I'm probably going to drink a coffee. And let's grab all of these as well. Welcome to Zach's uh, walkthrough where he says oh it's a blizzard that's a good that's great all right so we're gonna try and find the road out here we have these like house things and we're gonna head through and find the road so you can see this little dents on the on the side here that means I'm following a road I'm gonna get that to find the main road I mean I know more or less where to go anyway but I'm gonna do it the easier way which is to follow the, the main road. Look for the sides. To my left and right, there's these like little lumps of snow. That means I'm following a road. There we are. So we found the main road. Now you want to turn left. Let's drink a hot coffee. And you'll see we'll gain some warmth. And I'm going to wait for this to recharge. We're going to follow this. Uh, the, the fastest way right now would be to go straight this way. But because you, if you're watching this, you maybe aren't that confident in doing it, we're going to do it a different way. We're going to just follow the road instead. 
Now, wolves will not be out in the blizzard. You will not be bothered by the wolves uh, or bears or anything unless the wolves were already near you when the blizzard started. In my case, they weren't because they were... Um, I was indoors and I went outdoors. However, if I was outdoors and the wolves were near me, then they could have aggroed me. Uh, but now that won't happen. So we're going to run through this blizzard. Just follow the, follow the road until it bends to the right. We're just going to follow this for a little while. We're taking a slight detour, but it's just easier to navigate this way. We're still not cold because we're drinking our teas. It's the benefit of having all these teas. Did I say I hate being cold? So let's keep going. Really it should be coming up soon. I think it's there. We are. I think this is this is it. So if you continue along this road now, let's drink the tea. If you continue straight ahead now on this road, then you'll get to Thompson's Crossing and you can stay there. But you can also go this way. This should be the road right here. And this will eventually lead you to Signal Hill. If you played episode three, <coughs> you'll know this is the route you take to Signal Hill, you'll often get ambushed by Timberwolves going here. But this will also take you through to the cave that leads to Mystery Lake. If you try this out and you get lost, and it's perfectly okay if you do, uh, and I, it has happened to me too. I have a few times done this and then I got turned around, like especially in places like Hush River Valley and I'm like, oh, where was I again? Uh, if this happens to you, just find a or shelter if you can, but if not, just find some cover. Find a tree or a stone or something and light a fire and get warm. And then just stay there and stay warm for as long as you can. If the fire burns out and you are cold again, then keep moving. Keep moving and light another fire if you have to. And just keep doing that until the blizzard uh, runs out. This is probably cold soon, so we can. This is probably the last tea we can drink. And then it's going to be uh, cold. Is the coffee still warm? It is. Let's, no, we're not thirsty. Okay. We should be over the hill here now. And let's head down here. We're going to sleep at the dam, you see. We might even find a bedroll on the way there. Keep looking to your left and your right to see if you see these little hills, these little piles of snow. See on my right, there's these little piles of snow. So that means that I'm following the road. I can still see them on my right. So I'm following the road right now. Is the coffee still hot? It's not. So we're out of tea to drink, but we, we're just now going to start getting cold. We are still not cold otherwise. I'm now going to start hugging the left side of the wall. It's a little bit easier to follow, and eventually we need to turn left as well. Oh, You're looking for a bridge. <clears throat> Once you find a bridge, then the exit to Mystery Lake will be on your left, just after. And on the right, just before the bridge, is the uh is it called pensive pond i think where there's a fishing hut and a potential moose spawn we're not gonna go there we're gonna head to mystery lake so we're gonna keep running this is why you see why i chose the snow walker uh feet this is why because we basically can run 20 minutes not 20 minutes 20 percent more because i chose that feet that's why it's so good if not, we would still be way, way back there somewhere. Effectively, I can run a, a one-fifth as much, so every fifth run is free, I guess you could say. We're still looking for the bridge. We haven't got there yet, but we're close. Even if we somehow walked over it and missed it, this road would eventually lead us to Signal Hill. Here's the bridge, so we found that. 
We're crossing a river now. There's a cave just to our left here, which we could enter, but that is a bear cave. The bear won't be there right now, uh, but we could still go there. But I'm going to walk a little bit further until I see some rocks and stuff on my left. So a little bit further here. Fatigue, yes, that's fine. It should be over here on my left now. There we go. And here's to see this tree here. This fallen tree, that's a good indicator. But we can now turn left. And we're going to head this way. And we should be able to find the exit up here. Let's keep running until we find a wall, pretty much. should be up here. Uh, we have the corpse there as well. And there we are. We found the cave. <clears throat> there you go. That's how you use a blizzard to your advantage. Of course, as you can see, Everything is wet. <laughs> we can do this in the meantime, just to stay slightly warmer, but it doesn't make a big difference though. We need to light a torch because we can't see anything. We could also light the fire to warm up faster, but we don't need to. We're just gonna go through here. We're gonna pick up coal when we find it, and we're going to keep going. Go through Winding River, and then into the dam. But we don't need to sprint here because we'll just drain more of our stamina and also we'll be warming up faster by just walking instead. But we're gonna go through this. <laughs> 